We've been uh, at the state high court and the case is still pending there. But what brought about this protest is that despite the fact that we have a two standing court injunction that stopped the government not to do anything about this Obashi in the mission, or the case that the court is being decided, we were surprised to see that the governor went ahead and confirmed the wrong person. From Moloko Jobi ruling house, the only person that we presented is Abdul Aziz Adotimeji Dumi. This other guy is not from our ruling house, he's not from our family. And we've been to the governor's office several times, we've written several position papers just to let them know that, see, you cannot impose someone that is not from the family on us. But we are so surprised when we hear that the person has been confirmed by the governor, despite the fact that last two weeks we were in the court and the court instructed them not to do anything until the case is being decided. It's as if the governor, I mean, the government, the Auguste government deliberately want to cause problems in this community. And that is why we are begging them. They can still do the needful. That is why we are begging them that they should please and please, for the sake of the peace of this community, for the sake of the com coming generation. See, this is not a shift and see title. We are talking about the upper of this community. You cannot just bring a wrong person to come and sit on the, on the throne. It is a taboo in Yoruba land. And we believe that Prince Dakpo is also a prince. Are you getting it? He knows what it takes to elect an Oba. We, we, we want to believe that maybe he's been misinformed. And that's why he went ahead to confirm the wrong person. But we're still pleading because there's still time to rectify this mistake. All we are asking is this, they should please and please allow the law to have its course. The case, I mean the case is in the court already. They should please and please allow the court to decide over the case. 